right, everybody, this is a classic. This is called Beginnings from Chicago. My name is Doug Ezio. Welcome to FingersOnTheFrets.com. Um, as always, you can go to the uh, product link page and click on that. This is going to be five pages long. Um, I scored it all out with tablature and down and up strum. This is a tricky one, a lot of 16th notes. Um, this is the way I hear it. I'm not exactly sure what they did on the record, but when I listened to it, this is what I saw and I watched some of their YouTube videos. Um, nobody is providing this though. And everybody was like, oh, here's how to play it, but look at this. Look at that. Yeah, it takes a while to score that out. Again, just how I hear it. So please uh, click on the link for that. And also you can become a patron and uh, you get all kinds of great stuff like this every month. Okay, first chord is A major seven. It's up here. I'm using um, these three fingers, third finger, second finger, fourth finger on the 14th fret, 13th fret, 14th fret. Open A, open E. Okay, uh, the next chord is D6 at nine over A. That's what my software generated. So we're gonna bring that down here. And that's the same shape, 12, 11, 12. There's a couple really great videos of people already teaching this, but I thought I'd give my two cents on this song as well, plus the tablature there. Okay, now I'm using these two fingers because later on in the song, it goes down to this chord, which is A major seven an octave lower, but then you can shoot it up to D major seven like this, and you can leave these fingers on there the whole time. But let's start back at the rhythm here. Uh, the rhythm that I heard on the record, again, my interpretation, it's one and a two, a three and e and a. And if you don't know how to count 16th note rhythms, you should probably learn how to count 16th note rhythms, okay? So um, what are 16th notes? For each quarter note, there are four 16th notes. So there would be 16 of them per measure. One, two, three, four, four beats in a measure. Eight eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. Cut those all in half. You get one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. That's how you count 16th notes, according to all the great drummers that I've talked to. Um, so. When you see 16th note rhythms, you'll see an eighth note, then two 16th notes, maybe in a dotted eighth, and then a 16th. What does that all mean? Well, it'd be great if you wanted to take a lesson or just, again, sign up on my Patreon or look at my videos on my website. I, I kind of talk about learning how to count rhythms. It's really gonna help your playing. If you can't count, then I would say down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up or one and a two, a three e and, e and a. Measure one. Then when you switch to this chord, you're gonna go one e and a two and a three e and, four e and a. One e and a two and a three e and, four e and a. So I heard it as a two measure phrase. One and a two, a three e and, e and a one e and a two and a three e and, four e and a one and a two, a three e and, e and a one e and a two and a three e and, four e and or down down up 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 down down up down up down down up down up running out of air and just remember um i think it's around 108 on the metronome so uh but don't start there use a metronome start slow and suss all these out Okay, that's the big intro with the uh, horns and all that. When it goes to the verse, you're gonna retain this shape here. You're gonna shoot it all the way down, A major seven. It's the same chord. Open fifth string, second fret, first fret, second fret, open first string, A major seven. The next chord is D major seven. You take these fingers up here to seven, six, seven, bar the fifth fret, D major seven. See how nice that is? So those fingers never have to move the, uh, from the strings. The verse sounded like this to me. One, one E, a two, a three E and, four E and a. One E, a two, a three E and, four E and a. Okay. The D major seven rhythm is the same as the D six add nine rhythm. One E and a two and a three E and four E and a. So that's, you already know that one. But this one, I heard. When I'm with you. <laughs> doesn't matter where we are. It's a little tricky to sing and play that at the same time, but that's the part I'm talking about. Now 
Now the rhythm of that would be down up, down, down up, up down, up down, up down, down up, down up. It's hard to say that. And you'll see in the in the tablature if you download that, there's a little tiny dot underneath the second um, sixteenth note there. That's called staccato or short. You want to see? I made it short. Okay, that goes on and on. Then. Later on, a measure 11 in my score, it goes like this. To a C major 7. Really nice there. Now that's still D major 7. And then C major 7. So slowly. Down picks. Build. To what will be the chorus is next, okay? Rhythm there is 1 E, a 2, a 3 E and, 4 E and. So, and that's and, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Now the chorus, I went to G major seven. This is a really nice chord here. Um, second finger on the G, first finger on the F sharp. G gently mutes the fifth string. These are all open, except for that one. G major seven to C major seven, okay? Rhythm. 1E e and a 2 and a 3E e and 4E e and a 1E e and a 2 and a 3E e and 4E e and a 1E e and a 2. So that one, in a nutshell, if you've watched this far, <laughs> um, that rhythm, 1E e and a 2 and a 3E e and 4E e and a, you could almost do that the whole time if you didn't really want to get down to the nitty gritty of learning all these different rhythms, you know. That's your chorus, those two chords. No big deal. Okay, then it goes back to the riff. Okay, then it gets into that part where he says mostly I'm silent, if you know the tune. Um, that would be considered the bridge in my opinion. That's going to be a major 7 to an E minor 7. Really nice little change there. So what I like to do is keep my third finger on the second string. Shift it up to the third fret D note. This comes to the B note, that goes to the G up there. E minor seven. All the chord boxes are listed, all the downs and the ups are listed as well. It's a five page printout, by the way. So. Basically the same rhythm as the verse, okay? No, those are all the parts, except for the very end. <laughs> Um, these really nice chords here. Okay, so instead of playing a proper bar chord where you bar everything, it sounds like this. It's okay. But it doesn't have enough color for me. You know, I think that on the record it sort of sounded more open like that. So it's almost a full bar chord, but you're not going to bar here, you're going to lift up. These two are open, so it's A, which is 5th fret, 7th fret, 7th fret, 6th fret, open, open. And they call that A9. This would be considered G6. And then this is uh, F major 7, add sharp 11, my software said. And then G6. And then it starts to pick up. the big drum ending and all that stuff so um, yeah this is beginnings this was one of the recommendations for one of my guitar students and uh, I never learned this before so it was fun for me I hope you enjoyed it as well please click on the product link or go to patreon I'm offering up a bunch of cool stuff there as well thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video